ladies and gentlemen, before we start, we have to talk about this. This is a disclaimer. Please do not message anyone, talk to anybody, mention anybody, attack anybody, or anything that's mentioned in this video. I am only reporting the news. That's a disclaimer. We continue. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm DJ Tubbs, and welcome back to Explained. This is where we explain everything in basically a TLDR format. So you can understand what's going on today. We're talking about something that's actually near and dear to my heart. We're talking about the evisceration of the Smash World Tour and every 2023 tournament that VGBC has anything to do with, period. Yeah. So what happened here? Nintendo has officially stopped the VGBC Smash World Tour. The tour that was put together that was also host that also ran in 2021 even though there was COVID, so that we didn't have that many world competitors, it ran this entire year as well. And we can say that for this entire year of 2022, if you've been part of the Smash community in any shape or form, that this has been one of the best years for Smash Brothers, period. From the storylines in Melee and the storylines in Ultimate, it doesn't get any better than this right now. We have like it's it's rivaling early Hbox um, uh, Hbox and and Armada days. It's rivaling anything that Mango and anybody else has done. It's rivaling Smash Four days. Anything like this. This is happening, and it's happening with some of the same people that have had storied careers already in the scene. We have the race for number one in melee between like six people, five, six, seven people. We have the race for number one completely basically done with mk lil being that guy but everybody is on his ass and we had every single tournament this year that was crazy we had mk lil losses we had mk lil wins we've had mango wins mango losses we've had umsa wins like we've had some of the craziest smash brothers as a whole this entire year and that has something to do with vgbc and the smash world tour there's multiple Jeremy. tournaments that have been put on there's multiple locals that have been put on because of BG, VGBC, the fact that Twitch tournaments run backed by all of the VGBC guys and the VGBC stuff, as well as BTS Beyond the Summit being the two most named and storied franchises when it comes to Smash Brothers other than evil. Okay? Not even MLG can compare to what's going on here today with what VGBC, BTS have put on as a whole. They have been told as of Thanksgiving weekend that they are no longer allowed to run any tournaments. In this unbelievable heavy heart that we must announce that both the upcoming Smash World Tour Championships as well as all the 2023 World Tour must be cancelled. Without any warning, we received notice that night before Thanksgiving from Nintendo that we can no longer operate. This was especially shocking given our discourse with Nintendo to the past 12 months. S since then, we have been working around the clock to take the proper steps logistically as well as prepare this statement with proper legal guidance. We continue we we seriously we are seriously grateful for all the support over the years and we are incredibly proud of what we were able to build as a community in 2022 alone we connected over 6400 live events worldwide with over 3 with 325000 in person entrants making the smash world tour the largest esports tour in history for any game period the championships would have also had the largest prize pool in Smash history at over $250,000, a quarter of a million dollars. The Smash 2023 Smash World Tour planned to have a prize pool of over $350,000. It can't be overstated is an understatement. 
the fact that we've had people who you don't even hear about, you don't even know their names because they've competed in tournaments all over the world that are qualified to come to the Smash World Tour, even the, the last chance qualifiers. There was many people that we we're going to be put on showcase and display as some of the top tier and A1 premier talent across the world for Smash Brothers in both games, respectively, being Melee and Ultimate. That has been taken away from us. Why has that been taken away from us? Well, Panda Global as a whole. Because I say as a whole, not being their players, any of their commentators, or any of that. Please don't come for those guys. They have nothing to do with this. But their higher ups and their head staff, their chief operating officers, their CEOs, especially one person named Alan. Although there is no statement from Alan yet, there have been statements from bts head as well as now we you know vgbc the head of bts beyond the summit which hosts beyond the summit smash tournament where everybody like man if you don't know about that invitational bro what are you talking about everybody who watches smash bros knows about that invitational I'm trying to break the fourth wall here i know i'm in like reporter mode and shit like that but like bro that is one of the best tournaments ever everybody watches those weekends the smash ultimate one the melee one you guys why like bro we've had so many stories because of these tournaments beyond the summit is fucking nuts they're crazy they're amazing they're beautiful ld is the ceo of that tournament and he says alan spent several months basically running a protection racket telling tos including bts it'd be a shame if your event got shut down for being unlicensed in an effort to scare them into signing on to the cup, VTS will absolutely never participate in a circuit led by Allen. VGPC has been the pillar of Smash community for over a decade, and as a fellow TO, it's absolutely gut-wrenching to see the Smash World Tour get rug pulled basically a week before their biggest event ever. The damage is enormous, and we urge Nintendo to listen to the community and reevaluate the relationship with the Panda Cup and Alan going forward. There's also a part in the actual statement from VGBC that I'm going to read a, a bit of. But to summarize it, it basically says that Alan was kind of like moving around talking about, oh, hey, you should probably come to the Panda Cup. You should probably get like, you know, on the Panda Cup because your event's unlicensed. He didn't fully strong arm and tell people that he's going to fuck them in the ass. But he knew around the bend, the dick was coming. You see what I'm trying to say? Because homie is over here talking about, oh, yo, he knows he has a circuit. He knows he's good. Everything that he can do is backed by Nintendo. He can use Nintendo's name. He can throw it in here. He can do whatever he wants. Promos, all this, that, and the next thing. Because he knew by 2023 that oh this is all mine this to me isn't just some simple oh okay nintendo is just being nintendo here again and oh we're just not getting smash tournaments we can't do get the rights to to display them like at evo again and and this this isn't that this isn't that to me what this seems like is a power move to take over a large part of the FGC, that being the Smash community. And if you can get the power backing by a corporate, con like a, a corporate entity like Nintendo that doesn't work with many people at all, you can get in bed with anyone when it comes to gaming, for sure. And let's not act like Panda is not around all of the fgc they're in street fighter mortal kombat they have a large part of the fgc on their on their roster to me all this seems like is a power move from alan to be like okay cool let's take one piece and then we can start knocking all the other dominoes over no statement has been released and this is speculation this is my own 
speculation. It's not fact. It's not a statement. I'm not defaming anyone here. But I'm saying that this seems very odd. It seems like a power move to just steamroll over the entire community, especially a decade storied conglomerate of people. I don't even, like, yeah, VGBC is a company, but that's because taxes, all this other shit that you need to have. Like, you need a corporation to do a lot of things, to write off a lot of things, and have a lot of things done with credit, etc. That's what they did. From grassroots up, they went to, they went the legit route and did everything they could for years. They fought with Nintendo for years to become what they are today. Only for Panda to come over and just be like, mm, fuck that. That's a wrap. It's insane. To me, it makes no sense other than what can we do to take over the Smash community? They have now put an anchor on it where it's just like we're holding everything down. I can't look at any like this is obviously very like opinionated at this point, but it's just like, can you even be mad now at any pros, any any pros or any players that have to go to Panda Global events now if they want to get their name out, if they want to be looked at on stream, if they want a chance to win a bunch of money for tournaments, because now the whole thing that we're the first time we were in a crack over close to a million something, a court being a quarter million is the first time it's all swept away by one other entity. The only other people who have streaming rights now for the entire year, unless you, unless you're with them, unless you put their, your tournament under their circuit, there's no double circuit. There's no two ways to make money. There's no big conglomeration of the entire scene to just get better. There's no, like who, who, who would care to just be at smash world tour and then go to the Panda global cup. Like, how is that bad? Why is that a bad thing? How could that hurt us? It doesn't. It couldn't. It, there's no way. Like, I don't understand the reasoning behind it. it, it there's none. It's just dickheadedness and bullheadedness to try and take over a scene and fuck things. In my opinion, by my speculation, as I'm hypothesizing. Because if you go and read the article, it's linked below, so you can actually like fully read what they were saying instead of the TLDR. Is that around? It's just that it's done. What is done, bro? Like I, I don't even know what to say. Like, bro, you have to take this in. We have no tournaments for 2023 other than panda ones. What are we watching on Twitch when it comes to Smash other than the pros now and some of the content creators and shit like that? Like, what are we doing? What happens to the locals? What happens to Xanadu? Like, what happens to all these fucking things? Like, it's just chalked. It's just chalked? Like, it's just chalked like that? It's just done? We have, it's just done? That's it? Like, I don't even want to read anything else, bro. Like, all I want to tell you guys is like, bro, we don't have a Smash World Tour anymore, and we may not have any VGBC tournaments at all next year because Nintendo shut it down, and it seems like they shut it down in part and a large in hand by the Trojan Horse being Panda Cup and Panda Global because if you're not with them, it's a wrap. You're not anything. You, what do you mean in this community anymore when it comes to streaming rights and running tournaments? Like, what the fuck? Like, we have to look at what does this mean for Summit? What does this mean for any tournament we have next? Like, do they come for the, like, we just had the Ridley Rumble. Do they come for those guys next? Do they come for people like Alpha Rat? Because he's streaming it for man's? Do they come for a mango when he's streaming something for like a tournament for somebody? Do they come for a satellite smash? Like what do you what's next, bro?
because we don't have the rights to stream all this stuff. We're not paying. There's some of these people don't have paid have the right the the money to pay for these rights for these tournaments and shit like that. Like, who, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna all conform and go to Panda. Suck my dick. Suck suck my full suck my fat schlong. Like what the fuck? Like as Aiden says, I will never attend a publicly licensed Nintendo or Panda Circuit event ever again. I will continue to support grassroots locals at majors unaffiliated with Nintendo that have been the lifeblood of our scene for 20 plus years. Spargo has said, I don't know about y'all, but everything said about Panda is true. If, ev if everything said about Panda is true, then I'm done with supporting them in any form. Unbelievable how hundreds of people will be affected by this. Most likely skipping Panda Cup because like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, it's dumb. It's stupid. Get your fucking act together. Boycott the Panda Cup. And if you need to go make your bag from the Panda Cup as a pro, do it this year. And let's get that money together and fucking. Let's, let's do our own tournaments and shit again. Let's go force. Let's strong try to strong arm Nintendo and pay for some shit and get the fuck. Get Panda Cup the fuck out of here, bro. Get Panda Gobo the fuck out of here, bro. That panda shit is dog shit, bro. Shout out to all the creators and stuff over there. And they got nothing to do with this. IBDW Club, everybody. TK fucking Breezy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all them guys. Coney and them. Like, bro, they got nothing to do with this. But, like, how are you going to try and destroy a huge part of... Like, how are you going to try and strong arm and, de and destroy a huge part of our community for your own gain? Suck a dick.